Good morning, guys. Well, it's morning for me. It might not be for you when you're watching this, but I have decided today to do a quick little vlog or a day in the life, if you will. It's just going to kind of be what I did today, vlog style. I had a lot of views on my cleaning video, and to be honest with you, there's no way I can do that many cleaning videos. So I think you guys like to watch more of a vlog style or you know, that kind of thing instead of a sit down video like I've been doing. So I'm going to try to give you some more of those, but to be honest, my life is pretty boring. I just kind of work all day and that's really basically it. But today I do have to do a couple of things, so maybe I will vlog that. I have plans to take Lady to the groomer. We have a new puppy, which you can probably hear in the background, so that will be some good footage as well as doing some stuff for my online store that I have that I'm hoping to get running today or tomorrow. So hopefully there will be some good footage for you guys today. But right now, I've just made myself some oatmeal, some quick breakfast. It is almost eight o'clock, which means I'm running late. I need to get started at my full-time job, which is at home, so I have to go to my office. And that's it. That's all it takes for me to get to work. So this is where I work. It's in my office upstairs or our guest bedroom, which has a bunch of junk in it. Right now I'm hoping to organize that. It's got a lot of stuff for our boutique as well as our um, just kind of junk stuff I need to yard sale, birthday wrapping things. So this is kind of just a catch-all room, but right now it is mainly my office. So this is what I do. I sit here and I eat breakfast for the first few minutes before I start work or while I'm working. And then I'll sit here for about eight hours. But right now I have about 30 minutes to work before I have to get Lady ready and take her to the groomer for a few minutes. So let's get as much done right now as we can. Come on, are you ready? Are you ready to go? Come on. So we're on our way to the groomer right now. And I just want to apologize for the baby voice that I use when I speak to my dogs. I will always use a cute little baby voice. It's just how I do things. Okay, come on, let's go. Alright, sit up here. She loves getting in the car because the window rolls down and she likes to stick her head out. But unfortunately right now our window is broke. There you go. There you go. Yep, that's kind of what I figured. She's ready for the window to go down. Sorry honey. Sorry, we don't have it. It's broke. All right, let's go. So if you guys know me personally, and you know my dog, my miniature schnauzer, who is six years old, you know that she is very anxious. She's been anxious from day one, ever since we got her. We got her at about like, I think she was maybe seven months old or so when we got her. And she will have so much anxiety to such a level that she will shake uncontrollably. She cannot handle situations that she's not familiar with. She cannot handle new people. And the last time we took her to the vet for her regular checkup, the vet asked me what I thought about putting her on something for anxiety. So the vet could tell, and I hadn't even mentioned anything to her, how nervous she was. And she can tell that she's been getting more and more nervous as she gets older with each appointment that we take her there. It's just worse. So the vet suggested we put her on a medication similar to Prozac, which is like a daily medicine that helps with just kind of coping with everyday stuff. And she's been on that for about a month, but she is on the absolute lowest dose that they will give a dog. And I just got the prescription filled for the second month. And I'm hoping that we can see more of a change this month since she's been on it long enough. 
I really don't want to have to increase her dose, but I'm willing to do that if that's what it takes because she just is struggling with life sometimes. So I'm hoping that the groomer says that she does a little bit better, just not shaking uncontrollably and having so much fear. So I don't know, I'm very curious to see what's gonna happen. I really just want my dog to act like a normal dog. She just, we've tried everything. I've looked up all the tips and tricks on how to get her to kind of cope with stuff and it's just not working. So hopefully today will be a good change. And honestly, with the new puppy, she's done really well. She hasn't had any major issues. She snaps at him, but that is just normal dog and new puppy sort of thing. Like the puppy will get way too excited and chase her around and bite at her legs and then Lady just gets annoyed and kind of snaps at him but she's never bit him and they don't really growl or bark at each other so I think that's something that is completely normal that they'll both get over. I don't know. So let's keep our fingers crossed that it goes well. So I've picked Lady up. She is back there. There she is. And I got smart this time. I put her in the back seat so that way she could look out the window. But I was thinking I don't tip the groomer. I don't know if I'm supposed to. I tip my hairdresser and I have only gotten my nails done a couple of times and I think I've tipped that. And so I was thinking maybe I'm supposed to be tipping my groomer. I really don't know. So I feel bad if I'm supposed to. What do you guys do? Do any of you take your dogs to groomers and um, tip them? I don't know. Tell me what you do. Leave it in the comments below so I know if I'm doing something wrong so I know better next time. What do you think, lady? She's just happy to be out of there. She hates it. Okay, now that we're back from the groomer, we have to let the puppy out. I usually just leave him in his kennel all day. Well, not all day, but I leave him in his kennel while I'm upstairs working. And then I let him out every couple of hours. That way he's not running around and going potty in places he shouldn't be going. And so he's also not getting into things and chewing on things that he shouldn't be chewing on. Because he is a puppy and he will chew on everything. So let's go outside. Come on. It's, it's kind of sort of a mess trying to get them to go outside. Lady does her own thing. He does really well, but... He wants to chase her instead of focusing on what he needs to be doing. So it's kind of an event just to get them to go. And also the groomer said that Lady did really well. She said that she was less shaky and not as nervous. She still has some anxiety and some things she doesn't like, which every dog has things they don't like when it comes to the groomer or the vet, I feel like. But she said she actually did really well, so I'm pretty excited about that. Pretty proud of her. Hopefully this medicine is doing something. I don't know, we'll see. I feel like it's been an eventful morning already just trying to get her to the groomer and trying to work. It's only like 10.30. I don't know. All right, now I'm gonna try to get back to work since that has been dealt with. I actually feel like a snack. All I ate was about half a bowl of oatmeal for breakfast. I really wasn't that hungry, but now I am. I don't know what to eat. I'm trying to be healthy. And all we have that's quick and easy is very unhealthy food. I don't know. Maybe I'll do an apple and peanut butter. This peanut butter right here, cinnamon jiff, is like the stinking best stuff ever. And also, if you like to eat apples, get one of these. This is the best invention ever. It takes two seconds to cut an apple. Boom, done, I love it. So it's about 12.30 and this is the time that I take my lunch break. I usually give myself about an hour, somewhere around 12 to 1, 12.30 to 1.30. And I eat lunch, usually watch some like YouTube or Netflix and do some laundry and some dishes because if you can see back there, my sink is super full. Where you going, buddy? He has found the dirty laundry climbed on it and now he's determined to get in the tub. Buddy, I don't think you can get in there. If you even remotely let him out. 
and there's any doors open, he will go in them, he will explore, and accidents will happen, so I have to watch him. So it's about four o'clock and I finished with my regular full-time work day. Now I'm going to just finish those dishes that I did not do at lunch. And I'm gonna wait for my mom to get here. I'm gonna wait for my mom to get here and we're gonna work on the online store. So hopefully we will get those clothes posted in the next couple of days. So that's what I've got planned for the rest of the evening. We'll see how that goes. <laughs> have this happen you go to unload your clean dishes and they're not clean like the soap didn't actually open up and it stinks I don't know is that normal or is that something I need to get fixed so that's gonna have to wait now so my mom just left um, it is the end of the day it's like six o'clock now we took some photos of the products we're gonna have on our boutique website and now I'm uploading them and adding the products so Aaron called he said he's on his way home from work I'm hoping to cook some dinner here in a few minutes I really don't know yet what I'm gonna be making so in the meantime I'm gonna finish this up and get started on dinner so Aaron just got home and he is going to try. Is this the first time that you've like tried to train him? No, I did yesterday. Are you just playing with him or are you actually training? Oh my goodness, that thing's bigger than he is. That's cute. And then he runs. Oh, he had to potty. Potty break. Distraction. Okay, while he does that, I'm gonna go finish cooking and cleaning up the house. Are you hiding? I'm trying to help you get stuff out of the cabinet. Huh? He's trying to help you get stuff out of the cabinet. Yeah, he's trying to help himself with some food. He's probably trying to feed him again, actually. Looks delicious. Oh. Alright guys, it's about 8 o'clock and I am pretty much done for the day. We've ate dinner. It was good, wasn't it? Was it good? Mm -hmm. It was healthy. It was fish and rice and vegetables. Except for the popcorn shrimp. That wasn't very healthy. But and the nutty bar at the end. And the nutty bar at the end that Aaron ate. But that was all him. That was not me. But I'll probably go get one right now. So I'm going to close it out. That was my day. Like I said, it's 8 p.m. We're going to probably play video games, watch TV. I'm going to catch up on vlogs maybe. And we're going to bed soon. So I hope you guys enjoyed this vlog. And if you did, please like and subscribe. Leave a comment if you want to see more vlogs like this. Or if you like the other types of videos more. So just let me know. And thanks for watching. Bye.